Hey everyone, this is Nick Harvey from the OpenShift Online team. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through from start to finish on how to configure your Windows machine to use OpenShift. We'll be installing a few different utilities today, first being Ruby, the second being Git, and finally we'll install the Ruby gem RHC to add those command line tools. Once it's all said and done, you should be able to create, edit, and deploy applications to OpenShift. If you have any trouble, go ahead and make sure to check our developers portal on openshift.com. The first thing we need to do is install Ruby. Now to do that, we need to open up our browser, head over to rubyinstaller.org, and download the latest executable, as you can see here. Once that's finished downloading, we'll open up the installer and continue. Now that it's finished downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the installer. It's gonna ask me for the language that I wanna use. And I'm gonna go ahead and accept the terms. And then I'm gonna make sure to click Add Ruby Executables to my path. I'm gonna install and wait for it to finish. And that's it, we're done with the Ruby portion. Now that we've completed the Ruby side of things, we're gonna move on to Git. To install Git on Windows, we're gonna to go to mysysgit.github.io. This is gonna allow us to download the executables we need to install Git on our Windows machine. I'm gonna go ahead and click on download. It's gonna download a file, and once that's complete, we're gonna move on to the install. Now that it's finished downloading, I'm gonna open up the installer the same way I did the Ruby one. And it's gonna ask for permissions. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And then I'll work through the installer And then I'm gonna be sure to check use git from the Windows command prompt. And then another one that we need to make a point of is check out as is commit Unix style line endings. This is important. And we're gonna install. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the notes for now. And that's it for git. All right, so we're on to our last and final step, which is to install the RHC gem. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm real quick that Ruby is installed correctly and that Git is installed correctly as well. And it looks like they both are. So <clears throat> the very last step that I need to do is a simple one. I'm just gonna do gem install RHC. And that's gonna go ahead and reach out to Ruby gems and bring in that gem and install it. And as we can see here on the instructions, it tells us to run RHC setup. So we're gonna do that as well to configure our command line tools to talk to our OpenShift account. To that, I'm just gonna run RHC space setup. Uh, I'm gonna leave the default host name there. I'm gonna type in my login ID. Give it my password. It's gonna ask me if I wanna create a key or a token, and I'm gonna say yes. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to upload my SSH key. And give it a name, and that name is just fine. And that's it. Now I'm ready to do RHC apps to confirm. And that's it, you should be all set up and ready to go. Be sure to check out developers.openship.com if you run into any trouble. And of course, feel free to leave comments below. Thank you so much for using OpenShift Online and have a great day.